Hi everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to create a neural network model that detects an emotion on a text using TensorFlow and we will deploy the model using Streamlit. This is the app we will create at the end of this tutorial. This is the dataset we will use in this project from Kaggle. We click on download to download the file that contains three files, the train, the test and the validation dataset. And we will export them on the same folder where we will create our Jupyter Notebook. I will open my Jupyter Notebook on Anaconda. First, we will import pandas as pd to read the files we downloaded. We will import stop words, porter stemmer and ray for the pre-processing function we will create later in this tutorial. Now let's read the files. We will use read table function because our files are in text format and not in CSV format. We define the limiter as semicolon and the header as none because in our files there is no header and no columns names and the columns are separated by a semicolon like in this example. I will concatenate the three datasets because I used them separately and it didn't give me good results. We will set columns names to our dataset, text column and label column. Our dataset has 20,000 records of sentences. We will check if our dataset has missing values. We got zero, so our dataset has no missing values. We need to pre-process the text data. First, we will create a function named preprocess. In the first line, we want to leave only alphabets and delete punctuations and special characters. In the second line, we will lower all the characters, so the model will not treat the same character differently just because it is uppercase or lowercase. In the third line, we want to split our sentence into a list of words. In the third line, we will stem our words and delete stop words. Stemming means to reduce all words with the same root to a common form, usually by stripping each word of its derivational and inflectional suffixes. For example, if we have changing, changed, and change words, we will stem them to be chunk. Another example is studying, studies, and study. We can stem them to be study with i at the end. The function will return the sentences after applying all those functions. Next, we will apply the preprocess function on the text column of the dataset. We will use the lambda function on each line of the text column. We need to convert the categorical values of the label column to numerical values. We will use the label encoder from the scikit-learn library and we will store those values in a new column. We will name it in label. We need also to convert our text lines to numerical representations. In this project, I will use count vectorizer function and I will apply it to the text column. Then we will split our dataset to train and test using train test split function. In this project, I will use a simple deep learning architecture using TensorFlow and Keras. First, we will define a sequential and then we will add three dense layers. We will use ReLU activation function for the first two layers and for the last one we will set the number of the classes which is 6 and softmax 
as the activation function because we have a multi-classification problem. We will use compile to specify the loss function, the optimizer and the matrix. For the loss function, we will use sparse categorical cross entropy because we have a multi-classification problem. We will use Adam as an optimizer and the accuracy as metric. And then we will train our model using fit with 10 epochs and batch size of 10. We will calculate the accuracy of the model on the training datasets by using evaluate function on the X train and the Y train. After training the model, we found that the accuracy on the training set is 99.62 and the accuracy on the test set is 85.04. We want to test our model on a new example. We will repeat the pipeline of the text preprocessing. First, we will apply the function of the preprocess. Then, we will apply the counter vectorizer. We will use the model to predict the text. Then we will use argmax to return the max number, which is the predicted value. And then we will use label encoder and inverse transform to transform the value to the original categorical value. In this example, the model detects the emotion of sadness. Now we want to create a Streamlit app, but first we need to save our neural network model and the functions we use in this Jupyter notebook. We will save the model using tf.keras.models.save model as h5 format and we will choose a name to the pickled file. Then we will save the label encoder and count vectorizer functions as pickle format using pickle.damp. In the same folder, I will also create a file named preprocess.py to save the preprocess function that I will be using on the Streamlit app. Now, in the same folder as the Jupyter notebook, we will create another Python script file named app.py. I will use the VS Code editor. You can use a Python editor of your choice. I will import Streamless Pandas, NumPy, Pickle, TensorFlow, and from the file preprocess.py, we will import all. I will create a simple description of the app using st.write. I will create a sidebar with this specific header. I will create a user import function on the sidebar where the user can write the text. We will store this text in a new variable called input. We will load the pickle files that we saved earlier on the label encoder and the count vectorizer to use them later in this script using pickle.load. We will apply the preprocess function on the user input text. We will apply the preprocess function on the user input text. We will detect the emotion of the text using model.predict. Again, we will use argmax to select the maximum value and then inverse this numerical value to the categorical value using inverse transform. Then we will write a subheader using st.subheader and then st.write to print the prediction on the dashboard. To run this app, you can use terminal in VS Code or we can use anaconda prompt of the specific environment you are using. I will write cd and the directory of the folder having the Python script. Then we will write this command streamlet run app.py. 
and here we have our application on localhost. If you have a question or a comment, you can leave it in the comments section below. Subscribe if you want to watch more educational videos on machine learning and Python.